Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Okay, so let's see what's coming in post the eclipse, post the new moon in Scorpio. We've moved into your fellow water sign Scorpio, so that could be a really nice energy to come through, but that new moon is dredging some things up from the shadow, so we're going to see what's come in to be cleared out. We have the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, gosh, the Five of Cups is where there's been some kind of disappointment or loss. Something has even made you sad with this five of cups so there's new opportunities coming in with the seven of pentacles where you it's kind of wanting to get you out of uh, a comfort zone it's wanting to bring growth into an area that's been disappointing or uh, yeah has yeah interesting if I look at this five of cups it really feels like there was some kind of a loss that came through that's kind of the words I was getting it's bringing up something where you felt like you lost a person, an energy, or some some kind of yeah emotional loss. So it can also be financial with the Seven of Pentacles there. Like it's just felt like something was really lost. And the Seven of Pentacles is that there's this is the Taurus energy coming through. The Taurus Queen, you can see the bull there saying, "I've got a new seed for you where you can plant some growth, where that thing that was lost could bloom and blossom." And there could be new growth around it. doesn't mean it's going to be exactly the same thing and it just means that there's something uh, that can come out of that, that that has been, yeah, something that you've been working with in this underground space, the underworld, that has, yes, it may have been really challenging and hard and heartbreaking and all this sort of stuff that came in with it, but they're also saying that in that in that underworld energy, it created a fertile space. And so there is this very kind and compassionate and nurturing seed that's wanting to come out here that you're being offered by the Taurus Queen, quite literally a Taurus-like queen energy. <laughs> so it's something deep inside of you that wants to nurture and look after your physical needs. So this could quite literally be reflected to you from someone around you. It doesn't have to necessarily be a Taurus, but the Taurus energy is very connected to the earth. It's very much related to money, economy, and also your body, you know, how you've been looking after your body, the food that you've been, e been eating, how has this sense of some kind of a loss uh, or disappointment been affecting you be to be able to nurture something and, and feel like something's growing rather than leaving and so there's this lovely, beautiful opportunity to nurture this new seed and to step out, <laughs> step into kind of unfamiliar territory or even feels a little bit uh, interesting, like it could feel a little bit intrepid or a little bit scary stepping out, but at the same time it feels free and it feels like it's in some way freeing your heart. So, yeah, we have this beautiful Knight of Swords, which is taking action. It's the Gemini energy. It's Mars in Gemini, Gemini which says, hey, do you want to move forward with this seed that's being presented to you here from this new moon energy? Because we can take this in a couple of dire directions and it can move fast. So, yeah, interesting. But it just is this sense that perhaps that there is someone else that's on board with you with this as well. doesn't have to necessarily be so, but this is the twin energy, the Knight of Swords. So it's like if it felt like there was something lost within a relationship, even say, there is an opportunity here to plant a new seed that you could both be heading in a new direction. So that doesn't have to necessarily only be related to relationships, but it does feel like there's this is a very healing seed that's coming in with the Seven of Pentacles that is allowing something to grow and bloom and it could really take off inside your mind quickly. It could be like, ah, and this could go there and that could do that and then we could be, you know, it could actually move. You might be looking <laughs> a lot into the future, 10 steps into the future with this energy. So let's pull an Ascended Master's message for you cancer but I just feel like there's a lot of love and compassion that comes with the offering of this seed however it emerges it wants to be nurtured and looked after we've got crystals okay so this is a nice energy because it could be that crystals working with crystals could be really great to be helping you connect with uh, you know the this new moon energy was an eclipse so and it was a south node eclipse so there's it's very much letting go of an old energy and opening up to the new 
So letting go of some kind of old energy, which you really felt it emotionally and opening up to something new that you can really experience in your material world. And so the crystals energy is really nice. Maybe working with crystals could help with this energy, with transitioning and opening to the new and letting go, being willing to let go. And it also, it's the magic of the earth. It really is. It's the magic of the earth. And again, it brings me back to this Taurus energy. And uh, yeah, the Taurus energy is interesting because it is the opposite sign to Scorpio. Uh, We are going to be having the North Node solar eclipse, I mean, so a total lunar eclipse occurring in a couple of weeks. So we're in between eclipse seasons. So we're in the process of moving away from some old karma into soul growth. And so this Taurus energy is really like gently encouraging you to move forward. So the magic of the earth coming in, connecting, grounding, something beautiful is wanting to grow. So the crystals energy, yet not all of you are into crystals, but if you are, great time to buy a crystal or work with crystals in some way. But it's also just about working with the frequencies and energies of the earth, the energies around you. So it's, it's like go, I, I, they're kind of, you know, it's the, the they're showing me tree hugging, <laughs> which cracks me up. It's kind of like, you know, oh, let's go all hug a tree. But it doesn't have to be that, but it is really like there might be a particular tree or a plant or a bird or just this sense of the clouds, the sky the feeling of the wind, there might be there's something around the change of the season, how what's happening in your environment that you can really connect to. And really, really what they're saying is opening you up to the magic of the earth that we live on. It's such a beautiful place to live. You know, there's blue skies. It's stunningly beautiful. There's growth everywhere. If you look around, there are well, we're in spring at the moment in Australia, in uh, the no- the southern he- hemisphere. I know that you're moving into autumn and fall in the northern hemisphere, but it is this sense that even, you know, it's cyclical, but even no matter where you are, what season you're in, there's always something new that's developing and growing. It is this ocean of life, this planet of life that sustains us. And for whatever reason, they're really wanting you to connect to that. Uh, So that's kind of a a very beautiful energy that's coming through cancer. And they're actually bringing me back to, it was in your November reading, you got the turtle charm, which is your November monthly reading, which I, I always think is really beautiful. It's a real Cancerian energy. And they're saying, connecting you to this earth and the beauty and abundance of the world around us, despite the fact that we're feeling pain or we might be struggling with certain things in our life. It, this is the gift. This is the, the uh, uh, this is gold at this moment in time. This is like a real beautiful energy, feel good for the soul energy. So yes, we have 10 of crystals, stability and attainment coming in as situations and queen of crystals, comfort and prosperity. This is nice. So it really is wanting to lead you to a place that feels more stable feels more comfortable, but you, uh, that feels like you kind of connecting to some kind of, you can attain some kind of stability and comfort zone and prosperity. It's all saying so it, it can move and head in that direction, but it sort of seven of pentacles is wanting you to get out of that comfort zone in order to head into that. So it feels paradoxical, strangely. It might feel like, oh, well, uh, maybe I have to take some kind of uh, step into some kind of growth space in order to find this comfort and prosperity but they're saying that's the end goal that's where it really wants you to head towards so let's see this is a journey (laughs) this is a journey that we're on let's see what else is coming through for cancer what's coming through for cancer one flipped over where is it it's hiding something's hiding here where is it there is something something hiding in your life that is going to Here it is, the Nine of Wands, okay. The Wounded Warrior, the Nine of Wands, you are, there's a soul weariness, there's a fatigue, you've taken on a lot of challenges and battles and maybe, you know, there's this, you're actually probably closer than you think to uh, the end of one cycle and the start of a new, but maybe it's this sense of, You've got a lot of battle battles that you've fought that are is hidden under the surface. There may even be this greater soul weariness that you're not necessarily showing everybody at this moment in time. So let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is really like this 
Earth Queen that's coming out is really important because this Queen of Queen of Crystals, ironically, is the Pentacles as well. So we've got Ten of Crystals, Queen of Crystals, and Crystals, <laughs> a lot of crystals. So they're kind of seeing that as like connecting to the Pentacle energy of the Earth. We've got the Ace of Swords, so you've got clarity coming through. This Queen of Pentacles, yeah, it is this sense of uh, just a weariness of trying to nurture and bring in some kind of internal stability where it feels like there's just so much going on in the world and so much change. And uh, yeah, so there is this sense of wanting to kind of uh, bunker in and nurture in. But this queen at the same time, this beautiful earth queen energy that's around you, which is a part of you, we all have all the 12 zodiac signs within us, uh, this energy really wants to nurture you and help you grow. Here we have the Six of Swords, beautiful, and you're able to kind of move on from an energy and find peace from some emotional drama and find the peace within the situation. So, yeah, for some of you, the Six of Swords represents travel or moving. So it may be that you're just going, you know what, I have to move on from this place, this job, this energy, this space, I, or I just need to mentally move on from the drama. And you've got the clarity that comes in with the Ace of Swords. So a lot of really beautiful energy to come through for you, Cancer. So let's see. I think I, this is the Divine Wisdom card. Yes, Divine Wisdom guides me. I love this. Look at that beautiful eye. I'm guided throughout this day in making the right choices. And that divine wisdom is the earth queen that's coming out. It's the divine feminine that we all have within us that wants to, uh, that is connecting you to this divine wisdom. I'm guided throughout this day in making the right choices. Divine intelligence continuously guides me in the realization of my goals. I am safe. And it's kind of interesting because it is saying, yeah, you're on the journey. You're on the journey of realizing a goal uh, and to trust that divine wisdom that's coming through. So let me pull an animal energy, animal spirit energy for cancer, animal spirit energy for cancer. What is coming in today for cancer? Oh, interesting. The cheetah energy. And this is why we were saying with this and the knight of swords, this is some fast moving energy. Like there's things that this could get uh something shifting and changing really quickly in your side your mind and you could be getting really motivated and interesting we were saying with the nine of wands you could be closer than you think the fire of the cheetah could be a goal that you might be reaching or wanting to attain and so they're kind of saying this energy can move fast you could get there sooner than you think uh which is really, um, yeah, fantastic energy to come through. So I'm going to finish it off with the blessings for the week, what blessings are coming through. I'm already seeing a lot of blessings coming in for your cancer, which is really lovely. So let's see what beautiful blessings are coming through for cancer this week. Beautiful blessings that are coming in for cancer. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Of course. Of course, guess what it is? The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this seems to be the pivotal energy, this Seven of Pentacles, the Earth Queen. The blessing is this opportunity to start a new cycle. But it's interesting, it's starting at the Seven, it's not starting at the Ace. So it's saying, this is you kind of mid you're already at a midway point this is something you've already put a lot of time and effort and energy in and it may have um yeah it's it's not the very start of the journey with this this is like you've it's reached a point and you re it's ready to grow again this uh seven of pentacles this thing on the material realm that is ready to grow this seed so the seed that earth queen is presenting to you this week is the blessing the opportunity for growth it may require an adjustment or a pivot of some sort but this opportunity for growth is the blessing that's coming in. So absolutely beautiful. That's your weekly reading, Cancer. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments. If you're interested in any of my services, the link for that is in the description box below. If you think this will help somebody, please share and take care, Cancer.